Hey guys, it's Starship here, and today I'm going to be talking about the weird time in history where the US launched 4.6 million needles into low Earth orbit to create a global communication network. So, story time. Once upon a time, there was this thing called the Cold War. Basically, what happens is that the US and the Soviet Union, two big superpowers, were fighting each other, but not really fighting each other because they actually fought each other and they would die. Also, there was the space race where they all, where both sides launched tons of rockets and satellites, and it was very delightful. They also tried to get to the moon. Oh yeah, and one time the and the British may have been got gotten involved briefly, but we don't really care about them right now. So anyway, as you can guess, the U.S. won, and as you can guess, the my that means that the Soviet Union lost both of them. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. What I'm here to talk about is the time the U.S. launched um a uh, one. <laughs> 4.6 million needles into or low Earth orbit to try and facilitate a global communication network. So basically, back then, there were two ways to communicate if you wanted to. There was bouncing signals off of the ionosphere, which was unreliable, and there were undersea cables. But the U.S. was, in, was worried that in the event the Soviets attacked, then they would cut the undersea cables. So w they came up with the brilliant idea to launch... 4.6 million needles into low Earth orbit, each one um, uh, half the width of a human hair, to and then bounce signals off of those. They so anyway, they launched them. So anyway, they called them the Westford needles, and they launched them on the satellite on a satellite, uh, which was put which was placed on top of an Atlas and Gina rocket along with the Metis satellites. So. Here is a complete history of the program. There were three launches. The first launch was a failure because the needles failed to disperse. The second mission was also a failure, but the third mission actually worked, and they managed to bounce signals off of all the needles. <laughs> but what ended up happening was that a lot, they ended up developing regular communication satellites, and those made them needles obsolete, and they ended up um, uh, contributing to space junk. But there were still actually a few clumps of needles in low Earth orbit that occasionally re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. So anyway, that's the weird time the U.S. launched a bunch of needles into space to make, to use radio communications. Till next, I'm Starship. Till next time, bye.